Hey guys, Rinchy here. In this video, I'm gonna learn Blender in one week. Uh, I learned Blender in two weeks. Did I even do it? Did, did it at least look good? Okay, okay, I know that I said I'd do it in one week, but you know, things happened and then one week turned into three weeks. My original goal, <clears throat> sorry, with this video was learning modeling, texturing, rigging, animation, and then rendering it all in one week. From everything that I learned over the course of three weeks, I must have been a crack to think I could have learned that sh in a week. But theoretically, if I had planned it better, I could have done it. But before this video starts, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on my Ultra Kill video. I made that video just because I love Ultra Kill, so I didn't expect it to gain any traction. And now it's at 41k, and I can't thank you enough. The first thing I did was open Blender. I tried to click on certain tabs to figure out what each thing did. I figured out how to move the camera and then immediately closed it down afterwards. <laughs> Blender has so many tabs and toolbars that are shoved in your face. And like, I have no clue what any of this shit does. So trying not to overstimulate my brain with information, I decided to find an easy tutorial that I could follow. Okay, I've seen a lot of people meme on this tutorial, so I had to try it out. Because, like, 17 parts to make something like a donut seems crazy. So I decided to give it a try. And yeah, the tutorial was actually easy to follow, if you don't count my minor fuck-ups. But everything went wrong when I was about to get into texture painting. For whatever reason, whenever I tried to paint directly onto the model, it would fuck up. I tried retexturing it to see if that would worked. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with the texturing. Then what was the problem? Then I thought maybe there was something wrong with the UV map. I tried searching up my problem on Google, but all I got was Reddit and Quora posts. I was so close to giving up when I remembered I had talked to someone who does 3D art. Eureka! I potentially wasn't fucked! I wrote them a long paragraph going into details about my struggles and how I was in desperate need for help. Not expecting much, I took a small break only to be graced with the Discord ping. We went into a call to discuss what could have potentially happened. Happened. And from my eyes, it really seemed like I need to restart my process. Which wasn't a lot, but you get, you get the deal. So I took a break to prevent myself from punching a hole in my monitor. When I got back, they figured out what the problem was. Somehow, the model was turned inside huh? out. Okay, I had no fucking idea how I managed to do that. I followed that tutorial to a T, and I still managed to fuck it up. Small Pasta is a true MVP. If it wasn't for them, I would have had to restart. Which, you know, wouldn't have been that hard, but I, I, I didn't wanna. And what I learned from that experience was red bad and blue good. So on day two, I picked up where I left from yesterday and started painting the donut. The next thing I worked on was adding the sprinkles. Basically, what I did that day was sculpt the sprinkles, then learning something called geometry then I learned nodes, something so I called white, and then the sprinkles animating the donut, and then randomizing the colors of the sprinkles. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna go into any detail of what happened today because that shit was boring as fuck. Why I even did this tutorial to begin with was to become familiar with Blender. And I'll probably forget everything I've learned the next day because most of the things I most likely won't use. But after I did all the boring parts, it was time to render it. Wait, it's finally done. It's, fi it's finally done. Here's the final render though. Now, time for the real reason why I'm learning Blender. To make low poly models, baby. And my PC would probably not explode trying to make them. And of course, the first thing I should try to make should be something very easy. Something I could wrap my head around and something that would be simple enough for me to make. I'm making Gabriel. I, I think that was the logical option. I woke up early so I could start working on a model. And can you guess what I did first? I watched the League of Legends World Championship and I also played some League. We had, and just end, just fucking yeah, end. Have, I don't want to play this game anymore. Passes. Just end, hit the Nexus! Hit the Nexus, end! I don't want to play this game! I don't want to play this game yet! Yes! Yeah. Okay, but can you guess what I did next? I watched more tutorials. And this time, I was so much more hyped. I'd actually planned on making this model months ago, but I never got around to doing it. But the second video I watched, I should have honestly watched first. For the love of God, please watch this tutorial if you're gonna make models. It will save you countless of hours. Hours that I'll never be able to get back. But that's all I did on day three. And then I played some TF2. They have a, they have a teleporter behind us, fuck. They have a teleporter somewhere around me. Get him. Get him. <laughs> wait, I want to do something funny. Although, wait, 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 wait. Let me do something funny. <laughs> Today was finally the day. 
So I got up out of my bed at the early time of 1 p.m. to work on making my drawing into 3D. And it actually went pretty smooth. Sure, it was a little difficult getting used to making something without a tutorial, but I managed. And for working like two hours straight, I'm pretty happy with the progress. I made his chest plate first before I moved on to the neck and then to the head, and then I gave him a way sluttier waist than what I had originally planned. Other than that, great progress on the first day. The next day, I worked more on the body. I made his belt, added uh, this thing. Then I worked on his skirt and then the legs. And then it was time for the head, which I struggled with so much. I started with making the gold details on this helmet. I tried a method out first, which I don't really know what I did with that. The second method I did was way better and I actually managed to get it to look pretty good. What really messed me up was the white part of his helmet. I first tried to use the original sphere, but to make a long story short, it didn't work. But to make the rest of the helmet, I just extruded these parts and it seemed to work. Which I'm just gonna make clear, everything I've made until now has been super uncoordinated. And most of the time, I'm just kind of making everything up as I go. which hopefully won't cause trouble for me when I'm gonna rig the model. And all I need to do now is model the rest, texture, rig, and make an animation. Something I'll totally finish by the seventh day. And the next day, I did nothing. I mean, I played Overwatch. No! <laughs> you can't hit me from here, you can't hit me from here. <laughs> Why is he climbing the wall? This was the final day. And I know for sure that I'm not finishing this fucking model. So I did as much as I could, knowing that today was going to be the last day of this challenge. So I modeled the rest of the head, fixed some parts that looked off, finished a crown thing around his head, added some other parts, and sculpting the most important parts. But that was all I managed in a week. I failed. I failed the challenge I set out for myself. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with me? I couldn't even make a single model in a week. But I could manage reading multiple fanfics, some with over a hundred thousand words. Damn it! I should feel ashamed. I feel ashamed to call myself an artist. So, moving on. Just because I didn't finish this model in a week doesn't mean I'm not gonna finish him. So after Thanksgiving, I sat down to finish the rest of his model. Which... I did not record. So here's the glamour shots. And don't worry, I made sure that he was flipped the right way. So after I was done sculpting him, it was time for rigging. Which speaking of rigging, I hope no one has to go through the same pain I went through. I hope your rigging journey is nice and calm. Adding the armature is the easy part. It gives you a basic rig, but it looks pretty bad. So to fix this problem, I had to do something called weight painting. So how weight painting works is that you take points of your model and then either color it red or blue. Red meaning that it's active, while blue meaning that it's inactive. Pretty simple, right? Wrong. It's super tedious. Most of the time you'll be going back and forth trying to find out one version Courtesy that just won't be active or inactive no matter how much you weight paint. So either I had two options, ask for help or restart. So I proceeded to procrastinate as long as I could. So on the 20th of November, I picked up the project again with determination to finish it. And also it was snowing, so it put me in a jolly mood. Weight painting hurts my brain so much. I wanted to smash my head against a brick wall while trying to make sure that the right points reacted to the right bones. So I tried my best to weight paint as best as I could. The part of the model I mostly struggled with was this piece of fucking cloth. But to fix it, I just added some bones and that seemed to work. I think. There are things that I cannot comprehend how to fix. So I just decided to make a rule to never touch this specific bone to prevent the mistake that I cannot fix. Editing right here, I actually got help to fix this problem. Thank you so much, Brawler. But I still wouldn't recommend moving this bone. And then after rigging, I could paint him and I'd be done. I forgot about UV unwrapping. UV wrapping is taking your 3D object and then cutting it apart so it becomes 2D. See, when I first unwrapped my model, it looked like this. And hey, if you can use a UV map that looks like this, Good for you. But I don't know how the fuck you are supposed to work with this. UV mapping is also great to make sure that your textures don't get distorted once you apply them. After I learned how to properly unwrap models, it was super easy. Yeah! And I was so happy to find out that if your model is using the mirror modifier, your UV map also gets mirrored. Meaning that you don't have to painstakingly mark every single seam on your model again to make the perfect UV map. But this also means when you're prepared to texture paint, it also mirrors your paint strokes. 
I love the mirror modifier. And now it was time for painting. Now, I really like the look of cell shading on 3D models. I think it looks good and it has a certain charm to it. So I tried to replicate that onto the model and I utterly failed. I didn't like the default brush when it came to Blender's texture painting. It was too soft when I would try and paint and I just didn't like that. So I tried another method I had seen where you make a bunch of squares, then you can basically drag the UV map onto the squares to give the model color. I gave up after some time because it took me way too long to do it on my PC, so I did it on my iPad instead. And please don't roast me if this method sucks. I just didn't want to paint each surface. It took me four hours just to lay down the flat colors, so now it's time for detailing. So I dusted off my old drawing tablet that I rarely use because it is way too big. It's literally my second monitor. And now I remember why I don't use this tablet. But after breaking my back doing small details, it was time for the animation. An hour and 44 minutes, holy shit. Actually, I thought it was gonna take like, like, I don't know, five hours, holy shit. And now I can finally do the last step of this video. Time for rendering. And I'm just gonna say this here. I have no clue why I didn't want to work. Most of my problems came from the camera. Whenever I'd render an image, it would either zoom in on Gabriel's ass, not that I mind, or it would always be slightly off center. Why it zoomed in on his ass was because the camera was locked onto a certain part of his body. To fix this, I just locked the camera onto itself. And I have no idea why the camera would always be slightly off center. But to fix that, I just added a new camera and that seemed to work. I totally didn't spend an hour trying to fix this. And here's the final result. Here's the animation I did as well. I am totally not late to this trend. <laughs> Learning Blender was actually really fun, but making this video was a struggle. While making the video, I wanted to make a stupid Fortnite joke. So I updated the game and I got fucking blue screened, which led me to not being able to log back onto my PC. So I had to completely reinstall everything again. Then my hands started to hurt. So I wore a brace to make it hurt less. And then a week later I got sick, which meant I couldn't record my script. But I'm genuinely very happy how my first model came out. And I'm glad I could dedicate it to the love of my life. The whole reason why I wanted to learn Blender to begin with was because of these cool low poly models I had seen. Also because I want to use 3D animation and modeling for future videos. I love the idea of incorporating 3D animations into videos. And being inspired by other creators, I wanted to do something similar. I also want to give a massive shout out to Small Pasta and Brawler for helping me with my dumb questions about Blender. I didn't mention it too much in this video, but whenever I had a problem, I'd contact Small Pasta and they would always give me the best advice. And Brawler helped me with making my model more manageable and making my textures not as fucked. Plus helping me make my model use both FK and IK bones. They are the true MVPs of this video. Right around when I thought about making this project, Small Pasta also made a chibi model of Gabriel. So I'll leave a link to that one in the description if you want to download it. And you're probably thinking, will I also be able to download your model? And the answer is yes. My model is far from perfect, so if you want to use it, here you go. And don't move this bone. I'd love to learn more about Blender since it's an art medium I want to get better at in the future. And I'm already working on my next Blender project. While recording this video, I've also upgraded my PC, so making videos should That's be faster job. now. Since that I've learned Blender, I think it's time to learn another amazing program. Or work on my next video.